What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tokyo on 33, aka Crazy One, aka G33. Y'all ain't no dear, and we're back with some another Apex Legends. Today, today, we're going to be playing a new update that happened around Apex Legends. But before we do that, I got to talk about something real quick. So, there has been a lot of people, a lot of other YouTubers, and a lot of people around the world have been upset over the fact that, um, that this Iron Crown event has, you know, you know, surprise mechanics. If you don't know what surprise mechanics are, that's what EA so-called called it. It's basically Michael Jazz transactions. So, yeah, guess what they did? So they made this Iron Crown event, you know, challenge. You know, this one big event that's only going to be in around one week or in a day or so. You pass all these, you know, objectives and stuff. And you got to probably be thinking, oh, that's pretty cool. We could just grind out and get some items and stuff, right? No. If you go, go to the store, this BS comes out. So apparently, apparently, this so-called surprise mechanic, literally, that's what EA calls it. They're basically saying, hey, you know what? We know that people are going to try to grind this out, but with you don't want to grind it out you, you basically just buy the whole thing basically ea want us to buy this whole thing and it's cost too much it's so expensive it's literally so expensive like it's ridiculous like dog i understand it they, I, listen 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 all of all the other games they have done it they have they, all the games they have ever done it like from you know nba 2k20 I mean, NBA, I mean, NBA Live 20, uh, you know, um, Battlefront, you know, all these other games that they're, they're EA games. They have done some microtransaction stuff. They're really bad. And loot box as well. They're really, really bad. But this one on a free to game to, on a free to game to play. And their so-called surprise mechanic. Like, dog, this is ridiculous. Like, look at this. Listen. Listen, man, hold on a second. So, apparently, this is the um, Bloodhouse metal weapon skin, which is really cool. And, um, and um, yeah, man, the, it's really cool. But guess how much it costs for Apex coins? It costs 3,500 coins. And if you really want these, these, uh, these, these cool stuff, these cool animation stuff, the cool epic, you know, all the other stuff, all these rare costumes and all the other stuff, all these other great costume stuff you gotta get these you got to buy the whole entire you got to get like you got to buy these because the odds are you chance of getting these getting the gold ones which most people are sized for it's impossible no one's not getting the gold one no one's not getting the gold one I and mean, this is disappointing you know how much it costs to get the whole entire thing somebody in the internet said it costs like 140 dollars to get all of these their so-called surprise mechanic in the game that quote unquote saying it costs over one hundred and forty dollars to buy everything. Now listen, I ain't I ain't a, I, I I don't get money from YouTube. I don't get money to YouTube until I get like a thousand subscribers, which I'm hoping I can do. I don't get money till I get no uh, from YouTube. I don't get nothing from YouTube. I work at a job. Y'all should know me. I don't get paid on my job, but I don't get paid a lot on my job. But god dang, one hundred and forty dollars? No one's not gonna spit one hundred forty dollars, unless you got unless if you're like you gotta be like truly crazy to buy this for one hundred forty dollars. And some people may think it's not a lot of money, but it's a whole lot of money. Literally, one hundred forty dollars is literally a lot of a lot of money. That's like saying three hundred dollars is not a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And these so-called surprise mechanics that EA decided to put on, on a free to game play. Their most popular game right now is Apex Legends. Two, NBA Live is dead. Battlefront, dead. Anthem, dead. It's been dead from the start. All these games are dead from the start. The only thing that, that that's that's relevant for EA, that's only, only relevant game for EA is Apex Legends. Now listen, some may, people may not, some people may disagree with this. It's not big of a deal. But some people like me are, are saying this is a big of a deal. If you want to buy all of these that cost over $140 to get everything in this, go for it. 
it's up to you. But I'm not buying this. The reason why, because these so-called surprise mechanic that EAs are saying is just so ridiculous. Listen, I get they want enough money. I get people, I get because this is a popular game and people want to buy, you know, enough money to buy this game or buy anything in the game whatsoever. But dog, this Iron Crown pack stuff is just ridiculous, man. It's just so ridiculous and it's so stupid. And some of these YouTubers are defending this about it. Like it's not a big of a deal. It is a big of a deal. Trust me. It's super big of a deal. Because no one's not gonna spend $140 to buy all these collection um and legendary things. I'm not buying it 100 percent I can't buy it, man. I can't do this, dog. This is ridiculous. Listen. It's bad enough that the fact that NBA Live is canceled. It's bad enough that Battlefront and this loot box shit is done and it's stupid. But it's even more bad enough to put the so-called surprise mechanic in the game, in a free-to-play game. Like, it's just so ridiculous. It's stupid. And what makes it even more stupid is that some people are agreeing to this. That's even more stupid, dog. These are a big deal. I mean, look at this. To purchase 10 packs, it costs over 7,000 coins. If we go to the store, I, I'll go to the Apex coin, coin store. Look at look how much it costs for one pack to buy to buy to buy this. In order you, if you really want to get all these, guess how much it's gonna cost? This 7,000 coins. Now, normally people just buy these one at a time, for on a, in a smart way. But if you want to buy a purchase 10 packs. That's going to cost a lot of Apex coins. Now, most people just go ahead to buy this one. I mean, that is a very smart way to do it. But most people, like, it's just ridiculous, dog. It's just so ridiculous and stupid, too, man. I get they want the money. I get they want as much people to, you know, support the game as much as possible. But, dog, you know you could have just done with all of these? You know you could have just done with all of these kind of, of um, items and epic costumes and stuff? You know what you could have done? You could have put it right here. You could have put it right here. You could have literally put all that great item right here. Listen, I have no problem with people buying the, you know, the whole, the this this area right here, this item shop right, area right here that Apex got us. I have no problem with people buying the areas, buying all the other stuff, you know, buying the stuff from the, uh, the uh, Apex Legend, uh, you know, item area. But, dog, uh, for real? For this, this is unacceptable, man. Some people say it's around $140 for everything to buy this. That's just stupid, man. That's just my opinion. You don't have to agree to it. But, dog, this is really stupid. 3,500 Apex coins to get to get a Bloodhound metal weapon. Makes no sense. It just makes no sense. These surprise mechanics, Iron Crown, this, all this other, this event is really good. It's just that the vent is really good. The Iron Crown vent is fantastic. It's just that these whole surprise mechanic is so ridiculous, dog. EA, listen, listen. I want you to listen closely. Listen, NBA Live is done. Battlefront is done. All the other games, Anthem is done. All the other games you are creating, Battlefront. That game is 100%. I mean, no, no, wait, Battlefield. I said Battlefront. I already said Battlefront. But, but like, but Battlefield. That game was done from the start. Listen, all your games that you have built and hours of time in it, they're all gone. It's not even that popular. I mean, if you have you seen the Anthem reviews and all the other reviews of all the other games, they're not fun. They're coming from EA because of their microtransactions. I think I think it's safe to say that when EA does, it's what EA does. They literally focus on microtransactions instead of the game itself. That's how the game became so bad. That's how Battle. That's how Battlefield becomes so bad. The last good Battlefield game that was really good was Battlefield 4. The last Battlefront game was good was the old Battlefront. The first one, which got the first ever Battlefront that they ever did in EA history, it was really good. I loved it. But when they start going doing like the real re over the like the recap over the uh, Battlefront, it became garbage because all the loot box they have done. Then NBA Live 20, of course. What they have done is just so ridiculous. The loot box system is so dumb. It just doesn't make any sense. 
why can't we all just like you know have a free you know like grind it out kind of game and just grind it out make people want to play your game instead of buying these stupid kind of packs and stuff these cost a lot of money man and i i like dog i don't think y'all understand i don't think y'all clearly don't understand and you know what's also the crazy part about this you you when you get this skin this blood this bloodhound skin you have to buy you have to in order to get the bloodhound on like, melee skin you have to buy all of these all of these in order to get the skin listen man i have no problem with ea you know having you know i have to buy buy the game you you know what i'm saying buy the game and you know um you know buy you know have to like i have these kind of shops you know what i'm saying I, I'm no problem with EA's doing with the shop thing. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. I really wish that EA was just took all these items and put it in the item shop. So that way, you know, you can, you know, you can, you know, have some value into it. Instead of putting these microtransactions, I mean, I'm sorry, surprise mechanics in, in, a, in this good event. Don't get me wrong. Iron Crown event is really good. It's just that the one problem that they made a really bad boo-boo and that is these these are really bad and horrible and what they have done is really backfired them man y'all don't have to agree with me on me on my opinion y'all have to say nothing about this whole thing i just got to get this out of my chest because when i saw this and when i heard about this thing about all these all these little surprise mechanics that ea's been doing aka microtransactions in case some of y'all don't know it's it's just shady business man and that's how EA started going on down the ground, man. And I, I, I love this game. I love a free to play game. Y'all know me, man. I wish there's no like. Listen, listen, listen. I wish there was like. Listen, this is me. This is me personally. I want you to understand this. I'm the type of guy that likes to grind out, you know, grind out, you know, for for you know some items and stuff, just like they did with the first event. Y'all remember that that hunting begin event when Apex did. Bro, that vent was pretty decent. It was pretty okay. I love it. We grind it out. We don't have to buy nothing for the microtransaction things. We just grind it out and get the items afterwards. That's you know that like if, if y'all know what I'm talking about, the hunter event. You know where you know it's basically like a a blunt howl event where you get this skin. I'm, hold on, let me show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Let me show you. Let me show you. So. This is the master hunt event. I think this is the hunt of this was the brown uh, the bloodhound event and You get exclusive skin of this like dog like like I wish they just give us, you know you No, know, uh, like a chance now don't get me wrong They're giving us a chance to you know, you know get some skins or get something out of this event but dog But dog, you know, they're doing some shady business they're gonna be like, okay, instead of like, you know, you don't have to grind all this. If you really want these exclusive items, just like EA, EA is saying, if you really want these exclusive items, you should buy these stuff that costs a lot of money. Surprise mechanics, ladies and gentlemen. Dog, I hear a lot of YouTubers complain about this, and I'm, I, I watch both of them. I watch some of them, and I do must say, I hate these surprise mechanics it's ridiculous dog literally they could have put all the stuff all these stuff into like the item shop if they would have put all this stuff in the item shop i would not complain about this this video would not be coming up but the fact that they put this this item this item stuff in the item shop it just made people it just made people like me angry bro it just made people like me angry you know what i'm saying and you know what's crazy part about this the best people who are capable of doing all of this, you know, all of this, you know, this whole loadout, all these battle passes, and the store is Fortnite. Now I know a lot of you guys don't don't want me here to say the word, but it's the truth, man. It's the fact. I mean, look at Fortnite. Fortnite does not need to go, dude. When they're doing an event, Fortnite does not need you to convince, you know, everybody to go buy you know all the other stuff from you know from the store or you know what i'm saying for example fortnite create an event if fortnite create an event they would not make you convince you oh yeah if you don't like if you don't like grinding out you can buy this one for this and that no they literally literally let you grind it out for the event and give you some certain items 
Look what Apex is doing. There's, there's so-called so surprise mechanics. Like, dog, it's ridiculous. And they're making us want to buy this. I don't want to buy this. And there has been some lot of people. I think there has been uh, a streamer that bought this, bought this too. It's just ridiculous, bro. I couldn't believe it, man. This whole Iron Crown event is ridiculous. This Iron Crown event went from lit to absolute shit, man. EA, stop with the micro, stop with the microtransaction, aka surprise mechanics, please. When Fortnite, do, like I said, back to Fortnite. When Fortnite did this whole thing, when Fortnite did this whole thing, they literally have an item shop where we could get items at like at lower prices and stuff. Like lower prices and stuff. They literally have everything in here. Like everything. They don't need to have an event. They don't need to have an event where you can just go ahead and buy the whole thing. Where you just go have to convince... Like they don't need like a event so you know like you you can just buy like the whole thing. No, they literally could they literally just put all the new items, the relatives of items in here. That's what the best that's what the bread and butter is. Listen, the battle passes, yeah, that's what uh uh Apex is all about. The battle passes have been really good this year. The only problem here is is that they're gonna be greedy on the on microtransaction, aka surprise mechanics it's ridiculous bro i was dis i was disappointed about this bro I, when i heard about this news man i really love this game i really want to support it but this whole so-called surprise mechanic is so stupid like i really need to send this to ea i really want y'all to do me a favor send this to ea and tell them take this whole thing out we are trying to do something you know, to, to benefit ourselves, to benefit myself as a content creator, as a person who has loved this game. I love this game. I love this game. I have made not one bash about this game. I've not made not one bad say, not one bad thing about this game until now. Because what they're doing is ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, bro. These so-called surprise mechanics needs to stop. Yeah, you need to stop these with the surprise mechanics. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous, bro. I'd rather buy these kind of packs. I'd rather buy these kinds of stuff than these kinds of stuff. Because I like these stuff. These are expensive. And, like, dog, they are really greedy money. They really want their money so bad, bro. And it's a shame that EA done this, man. It's really a shame. This is the only game right now that's just really popular. Every other game EA has made is trash. And it's garbage. Like, dog. Like Fortnite does way better than this, cause unlike them, they give you some items that you want out of the store. They don't need an event to where you can just buy the items. That's what e that's what EA is doing. If you don't like the grind and all the stuff, you can buy the items. That's what Fortnite doing. Complete this objective, you get these certain items, or you go to the item stores where you get uh where you can get exclusive items and stuff that you probably didn't get. You can get it out of there at a lower price too. And now it's just it's just sad, bro. It's a shame. Anywho, that's all I gotta say. Listen, EA, if you just want to block me on Twitter, go ahead. If you really don't want to spot me, go ahead. I don't care. I'm saying how it is. It's just ridiculous, bro. I'm saying here what how it is. I'm saying how I feel about the game. It's just it's just it's just not cool, dog. You really gotta fix this, EA. Like seriously, bro. Wake up and fix it, please. I don't want to see. This game go down the drain. I mean, listen, this listen. It's bad enough the fact that people are saying this whole stuff and the game might go down the drain, which it probably is. But dog, you gotta stop with this surprise mechanic stuff. This is ridiculous. And you know the crazy part about this? My favorite skin, my favorite character has the one of the best skins ever. Look at this. Look at Lifeline. Have a Judge Judy executioner, man. Oh my god, that skin looks amazing. And you and you know what Apex did? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, this skin looks like the like it literally looks amazing. Now, all the other skins, you know, all the other skins, you know, like this one. This one looks dope. That one looks dope. Like I think really make I think really good. That one looks dope, you know what I'm saying? All these skins look fantastic. But why we need to go ahead and why can't we just buy it out of an item store? And now we have to buy it out of this stuff? That's unacceptable, yay. 
You really got to stop with this stuff. You guys need to send this video or send any other videos that evolves around this whole stuff to EA. This iCrown event went from lit to absolute shit. Thanks, EA, for ruining this whole event. Now it's not the now it's not the end of the world now. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 not affected by this. I'm still gonna play this game. I'm just not gonna buy this shit. That's just, I'm not just gonna have to buy the freaking surprise mechanics. So anyway, now I got that rant out of the way. Now I'm done arguing about AEA. We got some exciting things that's going around here. So for a very long time, I've been asking, we all been asking EA for a solo game. And guess what we end up having? Us Apex solo and it's a I it is so it is a iron crown event too wait a second so i hope that they permanently like keep this in the game and don't take it out i really hope that they they, they keep this in the game but unfortunately this might be a limited time mode which unfortunately it is gonna be a limited time mode in case you got something y'all don't notice this is going to be a limited time mode. This Apex Solo is going to be a limited time mode because it's part of an Iron Crown event. That's why this event don't end until one week and one day. I got to get a W. I got to get a W. I got to get at least one W to get you, show you guys what I'm capable of and see what I can, I can do, man. I mean, listen, man, I, the whole rant, just forget about that. I mean, I, I say what I said. Um, yeah, but let me know in the down comment section about this whole thing. Yeah, this Apex Solo, Solo event, I heard about it, and it's really, it's really amazing. You can really have so much fun at Apex event. It's just you, 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 your mistakes, whatever. You just have fun with it. I love it. I know you guys will love it. And unfortunately, this is part of an Iron Crown event. So when the Iron Crown event ends, I think Apex Solo is going to be gone. Now, your boy is excited for this because, you know, this is a really big, huge step for uh, EA. Because now we can finally have some some event that we have of our own now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say here is um, this Apex Solo thing is gonna be huge. I cannot wait for the next season for them officially, you know, put them in. Who knows? I cannot wait for what's gonna be happening, like so on, so on. So if you've followed me on Twitter, have you ever seen any of my you know my tweets? I tweeted out and said that you know I'm glad the EA added a solo. But I think it would be better if they add a duo in it. Imagine if they add a duo in this event. This would be amazing. Imagine if they have a squad. Even though it's up to three, but if you add four. That's what I was thinking. So I was like, yeah, I hope EA does this. I mean, they're doing a great job on adding this whole thing. But this surprise mechanic BS, they have to stop. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this whole event. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited to play this for the first time. I'm kind of nervous because I ain't that kind of a solo player. But uh, hey, though, I'm, I'm to tell you that all that gonna change. So, anywho, without further ado, let's get to the Apex solo uh, gameplay. Let's see if we can win. Ring countdown. That ring spa. Enemy taken out. Taken out.
taken out round two. Beginning ring countdown. Come on, Richard. Say hello. Backing myself up a bit. Rings close. Only one minute to go. seconds. Attention. Just giving my shields a recharge. One second. Kill leader eliminated. Round four. Beginning no, round ring two. countdown. Okay. Apex Champion.